the purpose of this video is answering the question whether the mirrorless Canon EOS M100 is a good choice for astrophotography. At first I have to admit that I never had the intention to buy an EOS M100, but then someone sold this camera for 100 euros with a kit lens. The price for a new kit is about 500 euros, so it was a damn good bargain. I made some tests with the camera and the daylight results are really good for a small and cheap APS-C camera. The dual pixel autofocus is great for portraits and the camera is very fast, which makes it a good choice for snapshots. It's small and lightweighted, so it's a great companion for holidays and city trips, one of those always carrying with you cameras. But now let's take a look at its pros and cons for making it a good astrophotography camera or not. The camera has a high sensitive 24.2 megapixel CMOS sensor. I guess it's the same one Canon used in the 80D, so it's still up to date. The M100 has no shutter. Astrophotographers don't like shutters of DSLRs because in astrophotography you often take a lot of shots and the more you take, the earlier the shutter will give up. Mirrorless cameras don't face this problem. So, I really enjoy to take lots of short exposed images whenever it's possible because the short exposure time reduces the effect of atmospheric turbulences. The camera supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth features, remote control via smartphone is possible, so once the camera is set up and focused you can start the imaging session from the inside. Really enjoyable. It's easy to switch to the M100 if you already possess a DSLR connected to your telescope. You simply need a T2 adapter. The distance between correctors and the sensor is the same, so if you're using a coma corrector for example with your DSLR, then you can easily switch to the M100. The flip screen ensures that it's easy for you to see what the telescope shows. The camera is very small and lightweighted, so you don't have to fear to put too much weight on your telescope. This camera could, I can't say it for sure because I have no such telescope, be an interesting choice for a Celestron F2 RASA system. It says that the 8 inch version doesn't support DSLR cameras, but it shall support DSLM cameras. Now let's take a look at some contra arguments. As I said, short exposures are a good way to get sharper images, but images with 24 megapixels are really big. So the more images you take, the longer the stacking process will take. You need a fast computer to integrate hours of light images. The next point is not very bad, but still mentionable. The camera doesn't let you take astrophotos without some important changes of the settings. You have to manually change from AF to MF mode. I had to search some time for the setting before I found it. Then you have to allow the camera to take photos without a lens. Otherwise it's impossible to take an image. That was really annoying. Maybe that may seem a little bit old fashioned, but I really want a camera to do what I say if the mode is called manual mode. Really bad is the next point. Remote control is not very reliable. I had several issues to connect my smartphone via Wi-Fi. Often it did not work and the connection was lost. Then I switched to Bluetooth. In that case you can only press the shutter button with the camera adjustments you had to adjust manually before. So no complex operations are possible if you use the Bluetooth functions. You can for example adjust the camera to take 10 30 second exposures and press the button again. The Bluetooth signal itself isn't very strong, so if you sit in your living room a few meters away, maybe the connection gets lost. I experienced this many times. And if you think now you could use a remote control with a cable, no, there's no such input. If you already possess a programmable remote control for your Canon DSLR, you can't use it in combination with the M100. All in all, it can be a good option to connect the camera to your telescope if you already possess it. Even if there are many reasons why this camera could work well with your telescope, a few things will become a problem if you're using the camera for a longer time. After a while, it will become very annoying that you can only take 30 second exposures. Taking two hours of exposure time is quite okay that way, but longer total exposure times will be very annoying if you have to press the button every five minutes, even via remote control if it works stable. Without the option to fully program the camera, like telling it for example to take hundreds of 30 second exposures, for example the Canon RP has this feature, it can't be a really good choice for astrophotography. At least it shouldn't be your main camera. Shorter sessions or recording the moon will still be fun. 
If you already possess an M100, it can be a good idea for getting deeper into astrophotography and your first steps into it, but it's not the camera you want to use for years. It may be fun to use it, but it's not the best choice for astrophotographers because some important features are missing, like I hopefully showed you in this video.